It's not that chilly, so I'll say it's a grey mild day in February. I'm at Elmer's End. I'm on all things green today as a welcome now. <laughs> Come into shot now. Luke! Hello. <laughs> and we're having a day of you taking photos on the tram. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing today. I'm excited. No, I'm, I'm probably more excited than you. It's not possible. <laughs> no, I think it is. In this instance, it is. So this came out of a conversation we were having the other day. You think you've ridden the tram once many years ago, in about 2004. Yeah, around that. Back when trams were red, not green. But you've never really spent a day on the trams, taking photos of trams. So what's your, what's your plan for today, Luke? You're going to yeah. take loads of tram photos. It's the idea of capturing things on the tube map. And the tram, obviously, is on the tube map. So I need to get a moment at every tram stop. So I'm not doing that today, but I'm just going to visit and get some shots, which I'll hopefully share with you later. I'm going to get shots of you taking shots and just getting your thoughts on, on the tram. Yes. Like, do you know, for example, what to do here? Do you, do you know how to cross the tram tracks safely? I have no safely? idea. Look, it's a look both ways sign. No, this is really exciting. That, like, I, I'm really excited because this is like discovering a new Docklands like railway. The tram is, is just so much fun. But why haven't you done it before? I you, just you live in London, and the Croydon tram link is in South London. How can you have never done it before? Because I don't normally need to travel to Croydon, and so <laughs> this is just a pleasure ride rather than a destination. Wow, what's better? Think carefully. Trams or the DLR? Oh no! I, answer at the end of the day. So first time at Beckenham Junction on a tram? Yeah, definitely. In your book, Luke. Yes. Uh, you, we, we were chatting about this just now, but some of your best photos, I think, are of the DLR system. And I'd agree, yeah. Is that because it's iconic, it's in the city? Yeah, so the DLR has some of the best views in London. It's sort of, if you go to East India or West India Quay, you've got basically views overlooking the, uh, well, the city, and you can see beautiful sunsets. Also, the DLR, I used to work around the Docklands, and that's what inspired me to take taking photos. Um, so I have a link to the DLR. But I don't know whether I, I have the same love of trams, even though it feels exactly the same when well, you're inside. I feel like we should head to Ampere Way at some point, where we've got the iconic towers of Ikea. <laughs> will, will the towers of Ikea be as good as some of the city shots. <laughs> we'll see how, how mm. emotive we, mm. uh, we, we feel mm. that they are. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, now they're not quite lined up, as you can see here. So I'm going to get closer in the middle, so the uh, alignment doesn't really matter. Otherwise, I think it will bother me. Look how even the font is different. On the dot matrix, on the older style tram, the, the, the W, the curves, are sort of curvy, but over there, it's pointy. Ever noticed that before? The dot matrix display lettering is different depending on what tram you're on. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Look how close it is. Look at that. That's the, uh, that's the southern service. We're, we're going to run along the side here. Look, we're overtaking oh, no, the southern we're train. Oh, no, 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 it's not. not the southern train is beating us. Look, it's beating us. Look, we're not going to take it. Look, there, the southern, <laughs> and the southern's taking the lead, and the southern's taking, and oh, it was close, but I think we've lost it now. <laughs> no. Luke, you've heard of the purple train? That, that's the purple tram. <laughs> All right, how's it going so far? Also, it started raining, it's yep. fitting, but uh, perfect for puddle shots, right? Yep, as you well know, I have like puddles. Seen, where, have we had it, got any puddles? Um, but I'm just trying to work out where the shot is. Um, we're currently at Black Horse Lane, not Black Horse Road. Well done. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this station, so you, you, you're, you're the one who's going to have to tell me about it. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There's the shot. <laughs> that might even be my thumbnail. Luke, you need to be taller so that you can see over the bridge. <laughs> have, have you considered growing to be a bit taller? <laughs> I've considered it. It just didn't work out that way. Okay. So, you know, okay. bye bye train. Train? It's a tram, Luke. Tram. See, trams, trains. Wow. Um, We're going to have to have the whole, it's a train, train? Well, hang on, what's a train? A train, T-R-A-I-M, a train. That's what's a train? So a train is that is that the new uh, the tram train hybrid? A, a tram train hybrid. A train. This is one of my favourite places to stand. Actually, if you ever come to Black Horse Lane, oh there goes Luke down the steps. Just come up to the bridge, up to the road bridge. Give us a wave, Luke. 
there we go. Thanks. See if this goes far enough, it might not go far enough to get to my shot. Not really. Okay, let's go across. We were just having a cheeky cup of tea in the Tram Stop Cafe in Addiscombe. Has it been raining whilst we've been having a cup of tea? Yeah, it hasn't stopped. The puddles are still there. Have the puddles got better or worse? They've remained consistent. Consistent? Yes, yeah, so, so when it's raining light like this, um, it's kind of my best weather because the puddles will stay like this. And then as it gets darker, hopefully, the forecast said that there might be a break in the sky. So you might have uh, some sunshine shining through. So then you get those nice sunbeams or we might even get a rainbow, but let's not count our chickens. We, a rainbow would be amazing. Especially now that I've said it. Could you imagine if we if we get a rainbow? It's and not, this not, has been filmed before, so it's, this isn't an added after. It's not It's not going to happen. It's not, is it? No. Okay. I'll, check, I'll check the weather. I don't think there's any sun. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It would be great if we could end the video with a tram and a, <laughs> and a rainbow going. That would be... Yeah. It would be ideal. back-to-back -back train action look you can see that trains only that one train train is there Tr train the train is arriving train. <laughs> train I'm trying to keep it in I'm my forever gonna call it train yeah, it's, now. A, it's new is... it's new for our lexicon isn't it <laughs> uh, end of the line yes good name for a series um, at here comes exposure at New Addington it is drizzling Classic puddle shot, right? Yep. How's it working out? Uh, all right. I mean, it's it's okay. The light isn't perfect for that location, not yet. But I was just checking it out, really. If this train is moving, it might be interesting. So we'll see. Look, we're getting out. Yeah. Church Street. <laughs> Church, yeah, Street, ready. Church Street, yeah, Church, Church Street, Church Street. From here, we're going to walk you around to Reeves Corner yep. and get the one-way tram back around the loop, back to Eastport, and then we'll head head to Wimbledon. Cool. Like, how on earth are you going to make Church Street photogenic? So you're looking at it now, but imagine in the light. Imagine all the neon lights from all the shots, all the hustle and bustle, all the people walking by. It'll look fantastic. You don't get this kind of feel. It's like having a train station in the middle of the street. Come on, how is that not special? Just nipping out at Central. I've told Luke about the uh, tram platform one side. And look, here comes a bus now and the bus platform the other side. Bus plus tram, here we go, here we go. No, don't move. Luke, you've got to come back here. Quick, come back, this is the shot. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> No, the, no, you missed it. Hang on, is that 407 going to stop? No, oh. <laughs> East Croydon, probably the busiest of all the tram stops. Coming for a second, Luke. Yeah. You keep saying about coming back to tram stop at night. I'm just getting the vibe that you want to come and do the trams at night and at, so like, almost exclusively at night. Is, the, is that what you're thinking? The trams are lending themselves to a night shoot. This area of the trams, yes. New Addington, no. So New Addington with nice misty morning or nice sunset time will look great because it's countryside. Okay. Around here you've got the hustle and bustle of the city. Like you've got movement, action, So, so the city, just like the built up areas, is, yes. is good for night stuff. Yes. I mean we have come on a miserable grey rainy February day. Yes we have. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. We've come to Ampere Way, which is home of IKEA. Can you get the shot? Can you get trams and puddles and towers all in one shot? I think so. I think so. I'll, I'll, I'll have a go. I'll have a go in a minute. And you're aware that the current tube map is sponsored by IKEA, <laughs> so I feel like we're very much on, on brand here. <laughs> yeah, nice. we're going to go puddle because of the light's so rubbish. Yeah, it worked. I just wanted to show you, look, so that you can get the, 
towers in reflected and a tram coming in on the other side. Well, we're gonna, um, so do that when the next tram comes in, right? Yeah, I got it. And we gotta get the tram as well. Yeah, let's get on the train. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh. Do you think we're going to get that rainbow? No. Anyway, in the distance, is that not a bit of sun? Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a lovely shot that I missed. You can get the roundel of the signing point as the approaching train comes in, with the both things being reflected, and then so you're getting a nice circular pattern and a nice angular pattern of the train. Yeah, so basically we've got the train coming and we've the clouds have broken enough that you get the colours in the sky and you can see some of the sun, the sort of warm yellows and oranges at the bottom. And this is what I've been waiting for, like the break in the uh, clouds. And so yeah, the train is arriving, so I'm going to concentrate to try to get this shot. You get it? I think so. Alright. I think so. So we've done a walk from Belgrave Walk down to Phippsbridge. Six minute walk, what are you saying? It's a good place to do... It's a good place if you had two trains, uh, two tram, trains on both sides. Trains? Trains. It's quite that. a hard word to remember. It's a brilliant word. <laughs> two trains on each side, so yeah. Well that might happen. It might happen, we've I got, don't know. We've got a train coming that way. We might yet get one this way, you never know. We never know. They have arrived at the same time. That's so good. I'll just use your photo. There we go. Yes. Oh, it's, they're not quite lined up. They're not quite, oh. lined, up. They're not quite lined up. Look, we're coming in on 10. Hang on, the other one. You know that Wimbledon has uh, two platform 10s, right? No. It's a 10A and a 10B for the trams. Why has that happened, do you know? So that they could double the amount of trams that could terminate at Wimbledon. They could park up two here rather than one. We have Probably. to do a wrap up and I have to ask you the very important question which, is, okay. which we've been thinking about all day. Wimbledon, at the end, have you had a fun day? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Out of 39 tram stops, how many do you think you've either got on or off at? I've been keeping count. Uh, seven. 17. 17, so did, that, that's insane. You've done 17 of, of the 39 tram stops. Will you be coming back at night to take more photos? Oh, definitely, definitely. But it's... this video should have featured a smattering of some of your photos. Yes. So thanks. Yes. So we can expect to see some of your photos on your Instagram feed. Yes. This is the point of the video where you now plug your Twitter and Instagram. Go, uh, quick, quick. Oh yeah, I mean, find me on TubeMapper, um, on Instagram, Twitter, etc. I have books, find them on Amazon. It's all in the and description. And I have calendar. Yeah, you can find them in the link. And finally, we didn't get a rainbow, but do we have a decision? I think I know what you're going to say. What's better? What's more photogenic? The trams or the DLR? Okay, so I've had a great time on <laughs> the trams, but yeah, um, it's got to be the DLR for me. Okay. But I have a link to the DLR. DLR. The DLR made me fall in love with photography. Um, okay. The Docklands, around the Docklands area. I'm going to so. say something outrageous. Is the DLR more photogenic than the underground? Because I think it might be. Yes, I think it is. But we'll get. maybe we'll look into that another time. Okay, right. Trying to with people. We've got to go, because yeah. I don't want to go back. We're getting out here at Wimbledon. We're going to go. Oh, it's no, no, no. That's the template. That's the template. me out. Press subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, thank Cheers, you. Mate. See you again. Bye. 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 Say bye. Bye. Cheerios.